Hello, welcome to my channel. We have Sharon Elaine Hindman and her husband, whose name is Eugene Laverne Hindman. And they were in Missing from Dryden, Washington. She was 49 years old and he was 45 years old. And they went missing September 27, 1985. She was five foot four, hundred and sixty five pounds, and he was six foot one, hundred and sixty five pounds. And it says that her and her husband Eugene were last seen on September twenty seventh, nineteen eighty five. They both worked for independent fruits in Dryden. In the Wenatchee Valley, picking packing apples, their red Ford convertible was found parked all night long at the Big Y Cafe in Dryden. Police later found blood on the walls and floor of the travel trailer where they lived. Everything they owned was where they left it, but there was no sign of them. Foul play is suspected. And there's no photo of her. Brown hair, brown eyes. And there's no photo of him as well. We go to images and documents. And there's nothing. But there is contact information. So if you know, if you have any information, maybe you gave it to the authorities years ago. But, you know, it's been so long. And over time, maybe they don't have those notes because they've had so many different investigators during this time. So maybe you could give them the information that you gave them before again. Since he had brown hair and blue eyes. Um, maybe you were too afraid of information back then. or And you can give it now. I don't know. But if you have information, please contact them with it. Um, maybe you heard stuff through friends and family and relatives over the years. or somebody that's been drinking and talking and you didn't take it seriously but now you're wondering maybe it could be true you're not sure if it's relevant you don't know it's just hearsay you can contact them with that information and let them know that it's just hearsay or that you heard it through the grapevine and things like that and let them decide if it's relevant or important that way you don't have to you don't have the burden to carry it around and this is where they went missing. There's the Big Y Cafe. There's the Wenatchee River. And this one is called Deadman, Deadman Hill Road. Isn't that just creepy? That is creepy. And I don't know what that was like. They went missing. What year was it? 1985 so who knows what that was like in 1985 but there's Deadman Hill Road there's a, a creek that runs right there there's I believe a dump right there hold on let's see Deadman Hill Road Dryden Dump Road I don't know what that was then but and there's a creek that went runs through there and it looks like there's a lot of back roads right there in that area. So I have no idea what happened, but it looks like, you know, there's a lot of back roads over here. So hopefully they've taken cadavers and they've searched those areas. But, you know, there's no way to know if they have or haven't. I just can't even imagine. Anyway, and then there's some John Doe's. There's a couple. I didn't, I, I didn't list them all. That could be them. There's a bunch in like Phoenix, Arizona area. That just there's. It seems like there was a whole bunch of people at once. I don't know why. So Cannon Beach, Clatsop County, Oregon, 1985-1986. There's a John Doe who's 30 to 45 years old, six foot tall, 150 to 170 pounds. Reddish-brown long hair, reddish-brown beard and mustache. 
and then it talks about what he was wearing, and I've seen this one recently because some of the other ones fit that as well. And then we also have a John Doe in Walport, Oregon. No height, no weight, could be almost anybody. And we also have one in Classic County, Oregon. There was a, a man and a woman in two different places in Canada, but I don't know if somebody would have driven across Canada. So, those are the ones I just decided to put those because I have no idea. If you have any information, please contact authorities and give them that information. But you can see if they killed them and they went to do something with them, there's a lot of places just right there in that area. So I can't imagine them having to drive a long ways to do it, but I wouldn't know. Anyway, um, don't forget to pray for their family and their loved ones. And thank you so much for tuning in and feel free to leave comments. Um, have a great day. Bye-bye.